sad story, though, about the Lavoisiers. Does anybody know what happened to them? That's right. Uh, her father, he married into a business, basically. And the business was uh, in banking. Uh, they, it's kind of banking. But in, in those times, the uh, regime was being uh, financed through periods of low taxation and high taxation, you know, amounts that tax revenues would vary, they would finance that through these banks. And, um, but the banks were very different than our normal banks. These banks actually collected the taxes. So when the French Revolution came along, um, uh, unfortunately, Anton was on the bad side of things. Uh, he had the opportunity to escape France, uh, but decided to face the, jur the jury in those days, it was a jury of, of, uh, of uh, revolutionaries. And uh, the letters came in from all over the world, and um, they, they spent about 20 minutes considering his and I think seven other cases. They were eight, eight men that day. And uh, the, the head uh, juror said the Republic has no need of savants. And they promptly carried all eight of them to the guillotine that morning. And the next day, uh, the famous math mathematician Legrand came out and, and said, uh, at, at great risk to him, so he said it took, it took them but a second to cut off his head. It'll take France 100 a, a years to grow another like it, which was, you know, that sort of could have been on his tombstone if they, um, if they had allowed him a tombstone. But she went on, after the revolution, they actually felt so bad, they gave her back her property. And she continued uh, as, as a, you know, sort of the intellectual center of Paris for many years. She, she married an um, American, and he was not her intellectual equal, and she booted him out, literally, and uh, went on to uh, continue by herself, as she should have.